A bizarre story to pass along tonight as a Kansas father has proposed settling a custody battle with a sword fight. He's representing himself and now asking a Siouxland judge to allow a trial by combat. His wife and attorney are from Harlan. Betsy Webster spoke with the man who says he's frustrated. Trial by combat. We can all thank Game of Thrones for bringing attention to the phrase trial by combat. I've seen the television show and read the books. That's what Paola's David Ostrom had in mind when he submitted these court filings in Iowa over a protracted child custody and money battle. The attention grabber? Petitioner demands the court sanction trial by combat to resolve these disputes. I'm not interested in physically causing harm to anyone. He says he's not violent or crazy, but frustrated by what he considers a system that in some counties, specifically in his case, he says is stacked against men when it comes to issues of custody and financial support. They've tried to ignore me, not address equal custody, and I think this puts a spotlight on them. The Crown has decided that from this day forward, trial by combat will be forbidden throughout the Seven Kingdoms. The approach was eventually outlawed in the fictional TV show, but no such explicit prohibition exists in the United States, which was part of Ostrom's argument. His ex's lawyer responded in court that, quote, just because the U.S. and Iowa constitutions do not specifically prohibit battling another person with a deadly katana sword, that's the weapon Ostrom suggested. It does prohibit a court sitting in equity from ordering same. The lawyer then asked that Ostrom lose visitation rights and submit to a psychiatric evaluation. Ostrom says he knows the whole thing is ridiculous and absurd, and that's the point. I've kind of run out of options, and no one pays attention to what I think is a hardship on myself and my children. He's got attention now, more widespread than he wanted, but heck, he says, he'll take it if it opens up the conversation about co-parenting, in his case and others. Now, earlier this week, a judge ruled that there would be no action taken on this case because proper procedural steps had not been taken.